Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a Pareto graph using data that you can see on the screen. So in column B, I've got a list of complaints, which I've categorized into these categories, call center issues, staff, engineers, timings, etc., etc. So those are the issues, just to give me fewer categories. So these are all groups into these sort of categories. What I've got here on the little table is the number of uh, occurrences of each of these. So you can see staff there, they occur quite often. So there's 120 of those, call center, engineers, timings, and so on and so on. And then I've done the total there, and I've worked out the percentage for each, for each category, and then I've done a cumulative percentage like so. And what you can see on the right there is the Pareto chart so you've got the bar chart for the individual scores and then you've got a line for the cumulative score and then you've got anything under 80 percent the way Pareto works anything under 80 percent on this line is what you would carry out on your main focus on that's the point of doing a Pareto chart now I'm just going to delete this one off and redo that so first of all I'm going to highlight these two columns and then with my control key, I'm highlighting the cumulative column. And then insert chart. And I get the chart coming up with the wizard. So it's a combination chart that I need. And it's this option I'm going to take first off, like so. Now you go through your wizard. And I don't need to change anything on here. If you change this, it's not really going to make any difference to what I want on the cumulative it's got all the details there, that's correct. And then you've got all this information, which I don't need to change either. So I'm just going to go finish. But then I do need to make this into a slightly different chart. So I'm going to double click on this red line, which will give me the option to make it a secondary axis. And then if I click OK to that, I get the secondary axis appearing. And then you get that line, which gives you the Pareto analysis, basically focus on the staff rather than all these other issues which is what the whole point of a Pareto analysis chart is so that's how you create a Pareto chart it's a combination chart with two scales so you need a secondary axis setting up on that and that's what you end up with so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how to create Pareto analysis in LibreOffice Calc so thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one